Hi guys, so uh, on this video uh, on law enforcement organization in administration uh, uh, part 3 so uh, we are going to uh, discuss regarding uh, principles of uh, police organization as well as uh, the important uh, provisions of Republic Act 6, 9 and 7, 5 Okay, now uh, first and foremost, before uh, we proceed with that of the principles of police organization, we need to understand first uh, on what's the meaning of the word principle. So this was uh, uh, taken from the uh, Webster uh, Dictionary you know, regarding uh, the principle. So when we say principle, according to Webster's di uh, Dictionary, uh, it's a comprehensive and uh, fundamental law, doctrine, or assumption or it would be a rule or uh, rule or code of conduct or the laws or facts of nature underlying the working of an artificial device or its primary source or origin so uh, in line with that of uh, the principles of police organization somewhat uh, it's the uh, origin or this what is so called uh, the fundamental law or the doctrine or the code of conduct that's being followed by a certain police organization okay so moving on let's try to take a look at the first one that's uh, the principle of unity objective so uh, when we say principle of unity object objectives uh, every police officer should play a part in the attainment of the objectives of police organization so meaning to say that uh, in order for the objectives of the police organization to be uh, uh, ob uh, attained then therefore its member of the organization should uh, play a part uh, kagaya ng uh, sabi nila that uh, together we stand divided be a fall so uh, in uh, every police organization its uh, members should have to uh, play a part in the sense that they are uh, geared towards attaining the uh, objective of uh, the organization. So that's in line with the uh, principle of uh, unity of objectives. And uh, another principle of police organization would be that of the uh, principle of organizational efficiency. So uh, it states that... Uh, the principle or this principle requires that in order that the uh, PNP organization is effective, so it must be structured in a certain manner to accomplish the objectives with a minimum cost. So, ibig sabihin that uh, uh, the uh, organization should have or the, uh, the police or the PNP organization should have to be uh, uh, it's, it's structured structured in such a way that uh, uh, they would accomplish uh, its objective okay with minimal uh, uh, cost yeah. and then another one is in line with that of uh, the scalar principle so this principle requires a vertical hierarchy of organization which defines the unbroken chain of units and command from top to bottom describing explicitly the flow of authority so accordingly a clear definition of authority in organization whereas this authority flows down the chain of command from the top level to the first or lowest level in the organization ayan so sinasabi po dito that uh, the uh, organization has this what so called vertical hierarchy in the sense that the chain of command would be coming from the top going down to the okay, lowest level say for example from the chief pnp down to the patrol man or patrol woman yeah next one is the uh, or yes uh, the uh, characteristics of this what so called the uh, scalar principle so the first one we have the unity of command so accordingly uh, unity of command states that a group of police officers should only be under the control of one superior 
or ranking police officer in the sense that uh, in giving command eh, hindi uh, sa pagkakataon ito eh, hindi uh, nalilito yung mga subordinates kung uh, kung sino yung susundin nila since they are under okay they are under the control of uh, only a single superior officer whom they are taking okay command next yan So, the next one is uh, regarding uh, under is, uh, scalar principle would be the span of control. So, it states that a senior police officer should be provided with men not more than what he can effectively direct. So, tama nga naman, ano? So, uh, under this span of control, dapat is uh, yung kaya lang na uh, hawakan ng isang uh, uh, senior police officer should be uh, yun lang yung ibibigay na tauhan sa kanya nang sa ganon eh, hindi niya uh, mamishandle or hindi uh, masayang lang ang effort ng mga uh, other officers uh, regarding this so called uh, uh, obtaining or yung uh, tinatawag natin na para ma-attain nila yung kanilang goal and then uh, another one is on delegation of authority So, regarding the delegation of authority, so yan, a superior officer must designate some of his immediate subordinates to exercise okay, part of his administrative power. Take note, however, that the power passed on by the superior officer carries an appropriate responsibility. Yan. So, uh, if you remember our discussions on uh, the earlier videos regarding uh, delegation of authority, so yan, ano? So, ipapasa niya, kumbaga, yung kanyang uh, administrative power sa kanyang subordinate, but in the sense that uh, yung pagpasa o yung pagdelegate nga ng authority na yun, eh, may kasama yun na responsibilidad. Yan, so, uh, uh, ipapasa niya yun, pero pag nagkamali yung kanyang yung tao na kung saan uh, doon niya pinasa yung kanyang authority it means to say also that uh, the superior officer who delegates such authority would also would be responsible for that okay uh, action also of his subordinates whom he delegate his authority okay so uh, moving on on the principle of police organization so we have functional principle so this principle is otherwise uh, known as division of work okay according to type place time and specialization so ayan by the word alone uh, functional principle so para magiging effective yung mga uh, personal in the PNP or police organization then uh, dapat is uh, magkakaroon ng tinatawag natin na division of work yan uh, according to type the place in time and specialization as well so kung saan magaling yung mga tao na yon doon nila ilalagay kung saan mas may uh, uh, tawag natin dito kung saan mas uh, mas uh, bihasa sila din most probably doon nila ilalagay yung mga tao na yon nang sa ganun is they would much more effective on that matter Yeah, that's functional principle. And then the line and staff principle. So this implies okay, a system of varied function arranged into a workable pattern. So also on uh, on the videos that we have discussed uh, earlier, uh, we also talk about the line and staff principle, whereas the staff principle gives um, this what we so-called advice to line officers or yung mga nasa line. I, sila yung kumbaga galamay ng organization tapos itong si staff sila naman yung utak kumbaga parang ganun ano so they are the ones uh, doing this what you so called uh, uh, analysis of a certain scenario and then they give advice to those uh, uh, line uh, officers yan and then we also have the principle of balance so this is the application of the principles of the organization that it must have to be balanced to ensure the effectiveness of uh, patrol force uh, say for example in accomplishing its uh, objective so kailangan na kumbaga is uh, nagkakaroon ng tinatawag natin na uh, balance eh, na kung saan na uh, dapat yung si for example uh, sa pagbibigay ng uh, 
or uh, division of this what is so called uh, mga personal doon sa isang station ni dapat uh, uh, kung saan yung mas bulk yung work ni dapat mas marami rin yung tauhan niya doon kaysa sa doon sa medyo mas uh, kukunti yung trabaho kasi kung uh, ganun yung mangyayari hindi na siya balanced din okay they would not be as well um, working effectively in that certain case okay So, moving on, we have also the principle of absoluteness of responsibility. So, uh, it states that the authority can be delegated but responsibility cannot be delegated. So, accordingly, every superior is responsible for the acts of their subordinates and they are accountable to their superior and therefore, superior cannot pass the blame to subordinates even if he has delegated certain powers. So ito po yung tinatawag natin na command responsibility kumbaga na kung saan kahit nagdelegate yung superior at nagkamali yung taong kung saan na doon niya dinelegate yon then still okay the superior is responsible for the act of his subordinates. And then we also have this what is so called the principle of flexibility. So accordingly Uh, this principle of flexibility is uh, that uh, states that there is a higher tendency that PNP can fulfill its uh, purpose if the organization receives uh, more provisions for flexibility or adaptability. So, ika nga nila, okay, the organization or police organization should be able to adapt changes. So, wala namang permanente okay, dito sa mundo. So, uh, as uh, we go along, okay, is nagkakaroon yan ng changes. Then, therefore, same as true to that of the uh, organization, dapat ganun din. That uh, they should be uh, able to uh, adapt changes nang sa ganun is, uh, ang tawag natin dito, nang sa ganun is uh, still uh, uh, mag-prosper uh, yung organization nila. In the sense that naaatin na rin nila yung kanilang goal or objective as an organization. Yan, in another one, ano another principle. Okay, so we also have this uh, principle of authority level or the hierarchy of authority. So, uh, accordingly, uh, it suggests that uh, the uh, manager okay, should exercise his authority within the jurisdiction or uh, framework given okay such as the decision within the authority of the police station commanders should be made by them but uh, of course uh, kumbaga uh, kung hang kung hanggang doon yung kanyang authority level then uh, doon okay do hanggang doon din lang siya kasi uh, in cases whereas uh, it involves higher authority in the decision making then therefore okay kailangan niya ring i-consult yan to his Okay, higher ups or sa kanyang uh, uh, mas uh, nakatataas sa kanya. Yan. Okay. And then, uh, we have uh, the last one regarding the principle of police organization would be the principle of parity and responsibility. So, accordingly, the responsibility of the head of the investigation section, say for example, for the actions of his detectives cannot be greater than that implied by the authority he has delegated, nor, okay, it should be less. So, according to this principle, if a subordinate is given a responsibility to perform a task, then the same, okay, at the same time, he should be given enough independence and power to carry out the task effect. Yan. So, uh, parity, parang yung equal na doon sa idinilegate sa kanya or doon sa responsibility na idinilegate sa kanya, dapat meron din siyang equal independence okay, to carry out the task effectively. So, that's uh, the principle of parity and responsibility. Yan. Okay, so uh, we are done with the principles of uh, police organization. So let's now proceed on the uh, salient provisions of Republic Act 6975. Now, uh, what is Republic Act 6975? So uh, the law would be an act that established the Philippine National Police under the reorganized, reorganized 
Department of Interior and Local Government and for other purposes. So, the Republic Act 6975 would be known as the DILG Act of 1990 and this was approved way back December 13, 1990. So, we have um, uh, the first uh, provision or the salient provision of the uh, SALO. So, we have Section 2. Okay, so this is uh, with regards to that of the declaration of policy, whereas uh, the uh, law, okay, hereby declared to be the policy of the state to promote peace and order, ensure public safety, and further is strengthen local government capability that's aimed towards the effective delivery of the basic services of citizenry through the establishment of highly efficient and competent police force that is national in scope and civilian and character. So, I do suppose that you have remembered this also because we have uh, tackled this earlier. So, uh, this express probation of the law would be... Uh, uh, stated under also under the Section 6 Article uh, 16 of uh, 1987 Philippine Constitution. Yan. Also, another salient feature of the Republic Act 6975 would that be of the Section 4. So, the Department of Interior and Local Government. So, accordingly, to carry out the policies and purposes of this law, the Department of Local Government or the DLG would be reorganized into the Department of Interior and Local Government. Kaya yung, uh, nung wala pa yung batas na to, okay, the, uh, the uh, agency is known to be Department of Local Government. Pero nung lumabas na yung Republic Act 6975, it turns it or, or it reorganized it and turned it into KDILG okay, or the Department of the Interior and Local Government. Meant. So, here in after, referred to as the department under the law. And so, we have uh, the uh, <clears throat> DALG, which shall consist of the department proper with the following bureaus and offices. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we have the National Police Commission or the NAPOLCOM which is under the Chapter 2 of the Republic Act 6975. We also have uh, the uh, Philippine National Police under Chapter 3 of the same law. Okay, we also have the Bureau of Fire Protection or the BFP, the Bureau of Jail Management in Penology or the BGMP, and the Philippine Public Safety College. Yeah, so these are the bureaus and offices which shall consist of the DIL. G. Now, let's go okay, with that of the uh, DILG. So, the DILG shall be headed by the secretary to be appointed by the president and it's subject to the confirmation of the commission on appointment. That's under Section 8 of the Republic Act 6975. So, the secretary shall be assisted by two under secretaries and three assistant secretaries. So, we have the... Uh, under secretary for the uh, uh, local government and the under secretary for peace and order and take note also that uh, uh, no retired or resigned military officer or police official may be appointed as secretary within one year from date of retirement or resignation yan so uh, uh, hindi po pwede na yung uh, magiging uh, uh, secretary ng DILG ay uh, kariresign lang okay from uh, military or uh, police yan so at least man lang is uh, naglaps yung one year grace period na yon before he can be or she can be appointed as uh, the secretary of the DILG and take note that the secretary is also the ex officio okay chairman of the National Police Commission. So when we say ex officio, it's uh, an accompanying office by virtue of k position. So para kumbaga it's uh, automatic. Yeah. And uh, 
Yan, the relationship of the Department of Interior Local uh, Government with the Department of the National Defense. So, under Public Act 6975, the Armed Forces of the Philippines, or otherwise known as the EFP, was in charge with ex external security, while the DILG was in charge with that of internal security. Yan. But under Republic Act 8551, the Armed Forces of the Philippines is now in charge yan, with both internal and external security with the PNP as support through information gathering and performance of ordinary police functions. Yan. Yun lang yung uh, parang uh, naiba ngayon dito sa Republic Act 6975. Okay, so let us now proceed with that of the Bureau or offices under the DALG, which, uh, so we have now uh, the first one as the National Police Commission or the NAPOLCOM. Yan, so it's an agency that's attached to the DALG for policy coordination. And the NAPOLCOM shall exercise administrative control and operational supervision over the Philippine National Police. Ayan. So, sila po yung nag nagsusupervise ayan, sa Philippine National Police with its, when it comes to this what is so-called uh, administrative and operational. operational. Ayan. So, we have the uh, vision of the NAPOLCOM which states that uh, the NAPOLCOM Okay, or we envisioned the, the National Police Commission as highly dynamic, committed, and responsive um, administering and controlling body, actively and effectively facilitating the involvement of a highly professional, competent, disciplined, and credible, trustworthy PNP. Kagaya nga nang nasabi natin kanina that the uh, uh, National Police Commission oversees the Philippine National Police, okay, administratively and operationally. And also, uh, the mission of the NAPOLCOM goes along with its uh, uh, vision that is to administer and control the Philippine National Police with the end view of maintaining a highly professional, competent, disciplined, and credible or credible and trustworthy Philippine National Police. Police. Yeah, that's uh, the uh, uh, mission and vision of the NAPOLCOM. So now, let us uh, take a look at also the powers and function of the NAPOLCOM. So, uh, we have the first one as to exercise administrative control and operational okay, supervision over the Philippine National Police as we have stated a while back. Okay, advise the President on all matters involving police function and administration. Ayan. Also, okay, to render to the President and to the Congress an annual report of its activities and accomplishments during the 30 days after the end of the calendar year, which shall include an appraisal of the conditions obtaining in the organization and administration of police agencies in the municipalities, cities, and provinces throughout the Philippines and okay, recommendations for appropriate remedial legislation. So, should there be uh, actions that need to be uh, uh, given a solution or problems that needs to, give in a sol uh, to be given a solution uh, in line with the uh, uh, Philippine National Police, Okay, or administration of the Philippine National Police, then the, uh, the NAPOLCOM can give uh, uh, recommendations for such uh, okay, uh, thing or action to be taken. Take note, recommendation. Yeah. And then another powers in function of the NAPOLCOM would be to uh, recommend to the President through the Secretary within 60 days before the commencement of its calendar year it crime prevention program and in also to perform such other functions necessary to carry out the provisions of republic act 6975 as amended other existing laws and presidential issuances okay and as the president may 
direct. Ayan. So, kung sakaling merong mga kailangan bang idadagdag sa mga powers and functions of the NAPOLCOM, okay? So, for example, may sinabi yung uh, President of the Philippines, then therefore, idadagdag nila yun, okay, na iperperform. So, we have the composition of the NAPOLCOM. So, one chairperson for regular commissioner and the chief of the PNP as the ex-officio member. Yan, kagaya nga nang nasabi natin kanina, ex-officio means kay automatic member. Na kung sakaling kung sino man yung magiging chief PNP, then therefore, outrightly magiging member siya ng kay composition of the NAPOLCOM or member ng NAPOLCOM. And take note that chairperson shall serve a term of office of 6 years without reappointment or extension. Three of the four regular commissioners shall come from civilian sector and not former members of police or military. Ayan. Ayan yung mga limitations also. And take note also that the, the fourth regular commissioner shall come from the law enforcement sector, either active or retired. And at least one of the four regular commissioners shall be a woman. Okay, that is of course uh, to represent also okay, the women sector of the society. So from among the three regular commissioners from the civilian sector, the vice chairperson shall be chosen. So the vice chairperson shall act as the executive officer of the commission. Ayan. Okay, so we have the organization of uh, officers of the Philippine National Police under the National Police okay uh, or under the NAPOLCOM and uh, or under the DILG which is to be supervi supervised by the NAPOLCOM so under section 25 ayan on the organization of the PNP shall be headed by chief who shall be appointed by the president Yan, take note on that. So, ina-appoint po siya ng president from among senior officers down the rank of chief superintendent subject to confirmation of the commission on appointment to serve a term of office not exceeding four years. So, ibig sabihin that the maximum term of office for the chief PNP should be four years. Yan. And shall have the rank of Director General That's under Section 29 Of Republic Act 6975 But take note That the term of office Of the Chief PNP May be extended by the President Okay Ayan So ano po yung mga kailangan doon In times of war Ayan Kaya kung sakaling nagkaroon ng gera Po pwedeng i-extend yan ng president or there would be national emergency which was declared by congress then the uh, term of office of the chief pnp may be extended by the president ayan so take note also that provided however that in no case case shall officer who has retired okay or is retirable within 6 months from his compulsory retirement age may be appointed as chief PNP. Ayan. So, hindi po pwede na kung yung isang uh, uh, police officer eh, magre-retire na siya from his compulsory retirement six months, okay, thereafter, okay, should be appointed as the chief PNP. Ayan. So, uh, still under the organization, so the chief PNP shall be assisted by two deputy chief. Ayan, so deputy, so that's one for operation and one for administration. And both of whom shall be appointed still by the president upon the recommendation of the commission. So, sino po yung commission na yan? We are referring to the National Police Commission from Mong the most senior and qualified officer in the service and will have the rank of Deputy Director General. Ayan. 
And then the PNP shall, uh, still under Section 25, the PNP shall be composed of a national office. Yan. So, uh, pagdating dito sa atin, of course, we have Camp Krami as the national office. And then, okay, the different regional offices in the different regions and provincial offices for the different uh, provinces. Okay, district offices as the case may be in the different districts, city or municipal stations. And uh, at the national level, the PNP shall maintain its office in the Metropolitan Manila. So that's where Camp Crum is located, which shall house the directoral staff, service staff, and special support units. Yeah. So at the regional level naman, so the PNP shall have regional offices to include that of the National Capital Region, which may be divided into two separate regions. Yan. Without prejudice to the pertinent provisions of the Organic Act for the Autonomous Regions. Okay. And, yan, of Muslim Mindanao, okay, relative to the creation of regional police force in the area of autonomy. So, each of these regional offices shall be headed by a regional director, okay, for peace and order and with the rank of chief superintendent. Yan po yung rango ng magiging regional director. So for provincial level naman, ayan, there should be uh, a provincial uh, office and it should have to be headed by a provincial director having the rank of senior superintendent. Yan. So at the city or municipal level, there shall be a PNP station. It's headed by chief of police with the rank of chief inspector. Ayan. So uh, on the appointment of PNP officers and members, so the appointment of the officers and members of the Philippine National Police shall be effected under the following manner. So as to the police officer 1, to Senior Police Officer 4 or SPO 4, okay, it should have to be appointed by the PNP Regional Director for Regional Personnel or by the Chief of PNP for the National Headquarters Personnel subject to endorsement by the Commission or by the NAPOLCOM and to be attested by the Civil Service Commission. Ayan po yung appointment ng PO1 to SPO for yan and for the inspector naman to superintendent so it's have to be appointed by the chief of the Philippine National Police which is recommended by their immediate okay superiors yan subject to the endorsement by the National Police Commission in bank and attested by the Civil Service Commission. Ayan. So, uh, for Senior Superintendent and Deputy Director General, it's appointed by the President as we have stated a while back upon the recommendation of the Chief of the PNP and of the NAPOLCOM in bank with proper endorsement by the Chairman of the Civil Service Commission and subject to confirmation by the Commission on Appointment. Ayan. And then for the Director General, it should have to be appointed by the President from among the most senior officers down the rank of Chief Superintendent in the service. And that would be on recommendation or endorsement of the NAPOLCOM in bank once again subject to the confirmation of Commission on Appointment. So take note, ayan, palagi po nating nababanggit yung in bank ngayon. So what does it mean? So pag sinabing in bank, it means that in the presence of all members of the Commission or the National Police Commission. Hence, endorsement of the NAPOLCOM in bank means that it was endorsed by the chairman, ayan, the one of uh, ex official member and the four regular members of the commission para kay masabing 
it was endorsed by the Napolcom in Bank. Ayan. So, let us try to take a look at the rank classification under Section 28 of uh, Republic Act 6975. So, that would be on the uh, left corner. Since we have now the uh, new PNP rank classification. Ayan. So, uh, yun yung nasa kabila naman, ano? yung bago uh, na rank classification for the PNP. Yan, so uh, it's on the screen so it would be up to you to further review okay now the new uh, uh, rank classification for the uh, Philippine National Police if, for example for the uh, uh, chief PNP then that would now be the uh, police general yan so in its abbreviation PGEN yan So, for the Deputy uh, Director General, they are known as Police Lieutenant General. Yan. For the Directors, they are Major Generals. Yan. Okay. So, for the Chief Superintendent, Brigadier General. Okay. Senior Superintendent, Police Colonel. Superintendent, Police Lieutenant Colonel. Okay, Chief Inspector, that would be Police Major. Senior Inspector would be Police Captain. Okay, Police Inspector would be Police Lieutenant. Yan is PO4 would be the P or the PIMS or the Police okay, Executive Master Sergeant. Is PO3 would be the PCMS or the Police Chief Master Sergeant. Okay, is PO2 would be the Senior Police Master Sergeant. Okay. PO1 would be the police master sergeant. Yan. And then police officer 3 or uh, PO3 will be police staff sergeant. Police corporal for PO2 and patrol woman or patrol man for police officer 1. So, yun na yung bago ngayon na nagagamit natin pagdating sa rank classification for the PNP. Ayan. So, as you can see on the leftmost corner, yun po yung uh, rank classification na naibigay under Republic Act 6975. And sa bago naman na new uh, rank classification for the PNP, kay was uh, laid down under Republic Act K11200. Ayan. Kaya ang nagagamit ngayon for the... Uh, Uh, rankings of PNP would now be that of the uh, uh, rank classification under uh, Republic Act 11200. Ayan. And then we have the uh, Bureau of Fire Protection. So, under Section 54, okay, it has the powers in function okay, that uh, the BFP shall be responsible for the preservation and suppression of all destructive fires on building Houses and other structures, forest and land transportation, okay, vehicles and equipments, uh, ships or vessels, okay, that at piers or uh, wharves or anchored in major seaports, petroleum industry installations, plane crosses, and other similar incidents as well as the enforcement of fire code and other related Laws. Ayan. So, that's in line with the BFP or the Bureau of Fire Protection. So, yun po yung kanilang ginagampanan. Ayan. So, also, the uh, BFP shall have the power to investigate all causes of fires. Okay? And if it is necessary to file proper complaints with the city or provincial prosecutor having jurisdiction over the case and uh, we also have the uh, Bureau of Jail Management and Penology and having the powers in function okay, to exercise supervision and control over city and municipal jail so take note ayan pagdating sa BGMP they are the ones in charge with that of the okay Uh, supervision and control of city and municipal jails. So, the city or municipal jails shall have K 
okay, the custody and safekeeping of city and municipal prisoners, okay, any fugitive from justice or person detained awaiting investigation or trial and or transfer to the national penitentiary. Okay, and or violent mentally ill persons who endangers themselves or the safety of others. And that's duly certified as such by the proper medical or health officer pending the transfer to a medical institution. Ayan. Kaya hindi lang po yung mga nagkasala. Okay, sa batas, eh, pwede rin yung mga may, may, uh, tamang, uh, may tama sa pag-iisip, eh, pwede rin po silang i-safecape. Ayan, okay, i-detain for safecaping purposes. At yan po ay under municipal or city. Ayan, and it's under the supervision of the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology. Ayan. So try to take a look at also the uh, uh, the distinctions in between uh, the ranks of PNP, BGMP, and uh, EFP as well. Yan sa so, nakikita po ninyo sa screen kung ano yung kanilang pagkakaiba, no? So for the BFP, uh, ang pinakamataas sa kanila is that of a fire director. Yan for BGMP would be the jail director. Yan. Sa EFP naman, they have their four-star general. Okay? Yan. So, uh, take note also that graduates of the Philippine National Police Academy or yung tinatawag nilang PNPA shall have or shall be automatically appointed to the initial rank of inspector now known as police lieutenant under Republic Act K11200. Yan, take note a graduate na po sila ng K Academy or the Philippine National Police Academy. So, how about naman yung mga cadet pa lang o yung uh, nandoon pa lang sa uh, Philippine National Police Academy at hindi pa sila graduate Accordingly, uh, the ca the cadets on uh, the PNPA shall have the rank of higher than police executive master sergeant yan or yung SPO4 but lower than that of the police lieutenant or inspector yan so kumbaga nasa floating status sila under that uh, certain scenario and then we have the uh, uh, last uh, agency under the national police commission or the bureau under the national police department under the uh, uh, nation, uh, the DILG, I should say, would that of the Philippine uh, Public Safety College. So, uh, the creation of the Philippine Public Safety College okay, eh, shall be the premier educational institution for training, human resource, development, and continuing education of all okay, personnel of the PNP, fire, and jail bureaus. Ayan. So, ito po yung tinatawag natin na tribureaus of the DILG, okay, the PNP, okay, the BFP, and the jail bureaus. So, they are going to undertake trainings, okay, which would be handled by the Philippine Public Safety College, otherwise known as the PPSC. Okay, so thank you very much. Okay, and then uh, watch out for the next video.